Freddy Fazbear's! Freddy Fazbear's! Freddy Fazbear's! No! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No! What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back. We are here with more of Gravity Falls. That's right, as we continue our way through Season 2, we are having a grand time filled with emotions, trials, and tribulations. So let's see what we get into this time. But hey, before we get started, hit that like button, subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads. Check us out on Patreon for early access to reactions, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut. Anyways, let's get into it. No! No! Okay, well... Damn, giving it all to Waddles. Not even something for Dipper? God damn! <laughs> Bye, Zeus! Isn't it daytime? Oh. Well, he plays video games with his, with his ma. Oh, grandma's. Reggie is engaged? But he's like the poor man's Zeus. I do not want to pressure you, but you are a man now, in a way. Oh, no! <laughs> Not the abuelas pressuring you to get in a relationship. She, when are you going to get grandbaby? Huh? When am I going to get great grandbaby? When are you going to give me wedding? Huh? You want to make grandma sad? Huh? <laughs> you know what's one of the best things in the entire fucking world? So my family, I have two older sisters. And the best thing ever is I'm already engaged, right? I'm already planning to have kids next year. Like we have like a, we have like we're going to go through fertility treatment next year. We're gonna to try to pop out kids by the end of the year, next year. We're gonna try our best, right? So I'm totally like baby moded, ready to get married. I'm totally in that phase. My older sisters are not. So my parents are like, so when are you guys getting married? When's the grandbaby? Is like pressuring them? And they're like, no, go pressure Alicia. They come to me. They're like, when's the wedding? When's the grandbabies? I'm like, soon, hopefully next year. No pressure here when it's already done. Like, I'm already about it. Besties, like, why are we stressing? Because I'm into it. <laughs> I don't got none of that pressure of, like, the parents being like, where's the grandbabies? Pop them out. Because I'm trying to pop them out, too. Shit, I'm trying to give me them grandbabies. We on the same page. <laughs> As for my older sibling, sucks to suck. <laughs> and, like... My oldest sister, she's like, honestly, I could not handle the pressure that you have by them like being so into you having grandkids and like wanting to get married and stuff. And I was like, Katie, I want those things 30 times more than they do. I'm good. <laughs> like, you don't need to worry about me. I feel zero pressure. Do you know why? Because I want that shit way more than they ever could. <laughs> so I'm chilling. <laughs> That's exactly what they talk like. My dad, not even kidding. So my dad, he's a cancer survivor. He's fully cancer free. 10 years ago when he had, when he was like, when he had cancer and was fighting it, he literally told me on his fucking deathbed, he was there holding, holding our hands, me and my sisters. And he goes, the only two things I want in this life is to walk one of you down the aisle and see one grandkid. And whenever my dad does something fucked up or unhealthy, I'm like, hmm, I thought you only had one wish. Walking me down the aisle to see one grandkid. My other two sisters, there ain't no shot. You ain't gonna see none of them grandbabies or a wedding. They ain't even dating. <laughs> Your only shot is me. You better stop acting up like that. <laughs> what kind of fucking pressure is that? Jesus. Thank God I'm into this marriage shit. Thank God I'm into having kids. God damn. <laughs> Yo, Grandpa! <gasps> grandpa in hell! She said Grandpa's straight in hell! She looked down! <gasps> oh, shit! What Grandpa like? Oh, he a, he a bastard. <laughs> Probably the... We love 
Kenapa kau nak poyak lah? I think you can. Oh fuck no! <laughs> Those pictures in your background are great for dating profiles though. That's the thing of nightmares. Ooh, free candy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, no. No. Valid response. If I saw a man pop out of a coat rack saying your face is good, I'm a Seuss. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're just lucky I didn't have pepper spray on me, honestly. <laughs> like, I would think someone should have grabbed me through a coat rack. A hundred percent. Like, I love Seuss, but fuck, that approach was terrible. Are you about to get Riz lessons from a 12 year old? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, don't. No shot, bro. This is not. Oh, no. Flirting, but I'm not sure. Someone say flirting? Oh, a different 12 year old. Maple would be a perfect wingman. So this is my friend, Seuss. He's really great. He actually works at the Mystery Shack right over here in town. And he's really handy and really good at things. And oh my God, he could, if you have a problem, he can fix it. Even my braces, he helped me when they got stuck. And I think he'd be great for you because he could fix your broken heart. Anyways, do you like ponies? <laughs> like, shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> no grunkle stan don't turn into andrew tate <laughs> no <laughs> weird question to ask a teenager but sure Why did Grunkle Stan take his thing? Oh, he's getting a replacement. Hear me out. We hire... Old Man McGucket. We paint him in bronze paint. And we sit him on top of a box. <laughs> it could work. <laughs> Me cute. Eye contact. Conversation. Huh. Oh my god, I would think he's a meth head. I love Seuss, but I would genuinely think he's a meth head. I would be like, oh fuck, he's gonna try to eat my face skin. Or like scoop out my eyes. He's like not he's not here in our reality. He's in a different reality right now, and he's oh shit. <laughs> Oh no, but it's true because he body swapped with waddles. No, you can't say those things. No. <laughs> okay, I feel like <laughs> when in doubt, Announce your own pronouns when you say hello. That's my tech. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's my tech. If I can't tell, I go, Hi, I'm Alicia. I go by she, her. <laughs> nice to meet you. And then, out of formality, 
They will say their own. <laughs> and you're safe. <laughs> I'm not trying to be offensive. Because <laughs> if I make it more about me, it can't offend anybody else, huh? Huh? Yeah. Garbage in the garbage can. Ah, don't look at me like that. Is it oh, the tear. Freddy Fazbear's! Freddy Fazbear's! Freddy Fazbear's! No! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No! 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 I, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. I, I... I guess I try to do Chuck E. Cheese, but with Willy, I get it. I get it. I like how he gives us some glasses, Dan. I just played into the pit. I mean, Koma did. I just, I go by Duba. Oh, you can watch me play the first FNAF on my YouTube channel, Alicia. Yeah. I screamed so loud, my throat bled. <laughs> it's not a joke. I wasn't even screaming at the game fully. I was screaming at Koma because he was sitting in call with me. And then he told me that Foxy only comes out on night three. Foxy came out at night two. I had so much battery left. I was so, like, good. I started shrieking, you lied, at the top of my lungs. To the point where I, like, made my throat raw. <laughs> and then I started to taste blood. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. It's been, it's been, like, a week or two now. But still. <laughs> It's worth a watch. <laughs> oh no. Engage cousin Rezzy Re Rezzy Reggie. Words are hard. that one before virtually improve your dating skills nine out of ten basement dwellers recommend <laughs> chad it's you is that for you do i need to get you a copy <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I'd rather I'd rather him try than not try <laughs> at that point. <laughs> his password's fixing it one. That's so cute. And he's got a picture of his abuela on the side. It's so cute. Okay. Oh, our translating is not good here. Feeling number two here. Click. Oh. I am impatient. Oh, God. Uh oh. Almost. Ha 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 Oh man. 
You guys remember last stream? Not even last stream. It was actually earlier this stream. I've just been streaming for seven hours. Earlier this stream, I talked to you guys about people who have AI boyfriends and girlfriends and fringe. <laughs> I'm not saying. <laughs> no, I am saying it. This show was like came out, what, 2012, 2011? And it predicted your horny ass typing into a fucking chat GPT bullshit ass thing. I stop it. No. That's not a replacement. You can live vicariously through suspending disbelief and enjoying a good romance game. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're going down the AI rabbit hole of wanting the interaction like that, that is concerning. Because like web novels and like stuff like that and like games, that's one thing. Downloading an app that's called Friend is another. Like, oh shit, <laughs> we need to interact with other humans. Como was trying to support y'all. If you're doing it to practice your social skills, even then it's not a good practice with social skills. You just gotta keep trying, even if you're messaging people online. Like, I strongly recommend that. If you're not comfortable yet, crap, she knows, God damn it. <laughs> like, even if you're not comfortable talking to people yet and, like, you need to work your social skills up to that point, just messaging people online and, like, talking in group chats or, like, community servers and things like that, it helped build your social skills more. But you don't want to start copping out and start using AI that's prone to talk back to you in a way that's supposed to satisfy you because you can't develop those skills further. And you're going to just create more inorganic relationships for yourself that won't create real authenticity in your life. So it actually hinders yourself in the long run but gives you momentary satisfaction. But earlier, instead of explaining that, I just called y'all motherfuckers cringe. So whichever one works. Either me calling you cringe or me explaining it one way or the other. You get the point. <laughs> oh, that's that's valid. <laughs> you can do it, Seuss. Uh-oh. He's with his girlfriend. So that's basically my entire life story. Now you tell me a thing about you. Every time. Okay, Seuss, I don't like that you said that part because I stream for 10 to 15 hours a day and I don't be seeing natural sunlight sometimes for 24 hours in a, in a row. Sometimes more than that. And when you bring it up like that, you start making me feel bad and insecure. I stream for so many hours that I have to keep eye drops at my desk <laughs> because my eyes stay too open while recording shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Alicia suddenly start to realize that uploading five videos a day is probably not good for my health, but I keep doing it anyways because I like money. That's the reality of what it is. I choose to do this. <laughs> I could do less, but I choose not to. <laughs> Oh. Going anywhere. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, she traveling. Okay, grandma damn. <laughs> Mabel said, "What? Where all them sweet honeys at?" Oh my god. That's my future daughter. <laughs> Mabel and Luz combined as my future daughter. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> like, 
here comes security. I'll deal with it. Stay here and practice on some real girls. Jesus Christ, bitch. <laughs> oh. She committed murder. Bro, if I was a VTuber that did the whole personality shit with the parasocial farming, damn. <laughs> I'd be this bitch for real. <laughs> Hold on. Are you telling me that you want to spend time with me every day? Wow. Well, that means the world to me. I couldn't ask for a better guy. Open your fucking pockets, bitch. I'm trying to run that shit. Where it at, though? Where it at, though? <laughs> but, Senpai, I mean, if you want, I could. <gasps> what do you mean your credit card declined? The fuck do you mean your credit card declined? <laughs> Just a switch up instantly. <laughs> Thanks for the 400 bits, Hobo. Their username is Hobo. For those of you guys watching the YouTube video, it's not me calling them that. I just want to put that out there. <laughs> Uh, do it, you know. Exactly. Oh my God, they're they're a good match. The worst. Skip who Ooh, uh, owls, owls, pizza, pizza Matronic, Matronic jamboree. jamboree. He asked her on a date without realizing it. Oh, you're... <laughs> with you uh hey Giffrey, we uh we gotta talk not you breaking up with her oh my god not that we need to talk oh no oh. <laughs> we need to talk uh no nothing's wrong i'll see you later i'm just gonna be busy tonight imagine he starts two timing with the fucking AI. <laughs> oh, damn. Calm 
Bro, this is just Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Monica. Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> just okay. <laughs> Oh, and it's like Doki Doki Literature Club now. Oh, that, that is exactly how it goes. <laughs> but less hanging yourself. <laughs> Sorry, Sassari. Sometimes a man has to steal an animatronic badger to stay in this crazy game called life. Or you could just not. Oh, he's just a sweet old man. Good job. He's well prepared. He's doing good. Oh, he seems like such a sweet girl. Way to warm him up. Like a big old panda. <laughs> You're hilarious. I got a big problem. Oh. Stalked by Giffany. Giffany? Or maybe it's pronounced. I'm sorry, but it's so cute how they're looking through the pizza box. It's big enough for both of them to look through it. And he's gonna finish his sentence and say Giffany, and I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> I hate that shit. <laughs> the creator of the GIF calls it a GIF. Use a J then, pussy. That's what I thought. You used a G. G and J can sound the same if it's a G. Yeah, but a J can't sound like a G. So if that's what you really meant to do, make it a J. Yeah, but the way that it initials is supposed to be a G because graphic. Oh, do you know what graphic doesn't sound like? Jaffic. Graphic. It sounds like grr. As in gif. Thought about that? Where it originates from? Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> oh. Oh, true. He, this has. <laughs> I love that they always reference previous episodes. Like even earlier, it referenced like Seuss body swapping with Waddles. He's referencing the episode where he brought the the fighting game to life. It's just nice. I love that. It's such nice. Old, they do that every single episode. They bring up previous ones. It's like in a very subtle way. So that way, if you're like watching. That's him. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's also nice for like people who like maybe watch it on TV as it was airing and you don't watch the like episodes consecutively, like sequentially. You can still enjoy it without getting the reference from previous episodes, which is nice. But holy shit. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, if a man said that to me on a first date, I would think he's trying to fucking murder me and peel my skin off. Thank you. <laughs> Who wants to hear -ha the owl? Oh. Mm. Okay, you can give me a judging ass look, but I hope you realize Jeffrey Dahmer did not, did, actually not Jeffrey Dahmer. No, actually he did. He went like, he would stake out guys and do that with them. 
but he usually based off their physical appearance on how athletic and muscular they are because he was jealous of their body type. And then that's how he justified it. That's how he did it. But the person who really went on dates and did it that way was, um, was the one who did it on dates. Oh, Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy would go on dates. Or he would, like, later on when he became more seasoned as a serial killer, he did it by pretending he was injured, but that was further in. Earlier on, he would go on dates. And then he would isolate the woman by taking him in, like, them in his car. So, don't judge me for having proper safety protocol. Just because you're a good person doesn't mean the next person is. All right, they're getting out of here. Oh, well, shit is going down. Done. Out with the old and with the new. I feel invincible. I'm so sorry. Just one second. What? What the? Who wants to get badger? It is like Freddy Fazbear's. <laughs> Ski ball. Dude, I love this show so much. They're so creative and so brilliant, and they did all this shit back and forth. Fucking 2011 slash 12 is so sick. These are children. The only way. Yeah. <laughs> so these are children. <laughs> They're. I should be keeping them safe. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there we go. <gasps> oh my god. Goldie is still making it work. <laughs> Oh, good girl! <laughs> I'm sorry, I say that to my nieces when they take off their shoes before going to play when they're in the play place. <laughs> and I did it out of habit when I saw people do it. <laughs> I can't help it, it's ingrained. <laughs> Nice. No! I mean, yes! I'm conflicted. <laughs> Think about it. Real girls are unpredictable. They judge you. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew this or not. There was a VTuber. She got canceled, but uh, there's a VTuber. Who... <laughs> Sorry for laughing. Her merch was wedding rings. That's how badly she parasocially farmed her audience. Her merch was wedding rings. <laughs> and then want to know what she got canceled for? She had a boyfriend the whole time. And they were like, what the fuck? <laughs> and she like lied about not having a boyfriend, saying she's only there for her stream and she loves them so much and made wedding ring merchandise. And then... <laughs> and people were like, 
Oh, that's so fucked up that she got canceled for that. That's on the men for spending their money. And I'm like, is it really on them? Or is it on the fact that somebody, like, was like, I'm going to exploit these guys so fucking hard that I let them get wedding rings to match me as merch. <laughs> the only rings I promise to get you guys is purity rings. That's right, bitch, because you're all turbo virgins. And if we get purity rings, that means <laughs> you're choosing to not have sex rather than the fact that you can't get laid. Because if we make it a choice, it's cooler, right? <laughs> Amen! <laughs> he hit his belly button. You gonna burn the copy of the game? I did, it did say destroy it. Oh, it worked. Nice. Oh my, oh my God. That is the most FNAF shit I've ever seen in my life. Oh no. I am so good without this. I am so, dude, I don't wanna, don't make me ever play a FNAF game again. Don't ever make me play a FNAF game again. This shit is so fucked. I don't like it. <laughs> Be careful, someone threw up in the ball pit the other day. Monster, you did it! How's about you and me hit the town? These old has-beens are going to Vegas! Vegas is fun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Sounds perfect. Okay. <laughs> of love. We did it. Yes, yes. I am so happy. Have you been following us all day? <laughs> yes, yes. I am trying to see if I will get the grand baby. Will he provide the grand baby or not? I must see how successful. <laughs> oh shit, Vegas montage! Hey, hey, what the fuck? Hey! They live in! Rich people water's crazy to have as a bottle there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get married's crazy. That's a a. <laughs> This was a mistake. All right, so much fun. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later, YouTube. Thanks for your love and support always. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Check out the Patreon. We'll catch y'all later. Bye.